morning guys so today I'm gonna bring you guys along to my clinical site and I just want to show you guys real quick what I'm eating for breakfast and what I'm taking for uh, lunch and the little snacks that I have but I will talk to you guys a little more in the car just because I don't have a lot of time I have to leave in like five minutes and I still have to get this all ready so let me show you guys real quick so right now I'm gonna make myself yogurt with uh, i cut an apple and then i like to add granola i like this one almond butter whole grain clusters and this is 10 grams of protein and then i also like this one i got this yogurt so i'm taking this for a quick snack i like this because it has 11 grams of protein i'm taking some nuts and then this protein bar which has 10 grams of protein and then i'm taking this vodka sauce pasta that my husband made um but yeah let me show you guys how i make my iced coffee and then we're gonna head out okay so this is how i make my iced coffee i usually don't use this coffee but yesterday i went to jewel and they have the coffee that i usually get so i ended up getting this medium roast coffee from starbucks and so i like to add a bunch of ice in my cup and then i like to fill it up to like right there where i can see the coffee and then i like to use a half and half creamer because this makes it super creamy because if i only add this vanilla almond creamer it's gonna be super sweet so i like it sweet but not like crazy sweet so i like to add this i might add a little bit more ice to this too so i add that and then i add wait let me shake this real quick and then i add this and guys this is the best tasting iced coffee Alright, so it's currently 6 a.m. and I am heading to my clinical and it's raining and it's still very dark outside so I apologize for the bed light. I am going to be eating my breakfast which is yogurt with apple and granola and obviously my iced coffee and I will talk to you guys as soon as I get there. Hopefully it's not as dark so we can actually have a quick talk before I go in. But yeah, I'm excited to bring you guys along today to my clinical and hopefully you guys can see a little bit of how my day is in clinical. But yeah, I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, so I just got here to my clinical. It's still pouring. Thankfully, I brought my umbrella because it's been pretty hard. And I'm so excited to show you guys. I know I've mentioned before that it's really hard for me to record inside the hospital just because privacy for our patients is the number one priority. But I'm gonna try and bring you guys in the lunch break and talk to you guys a little bit on how my day is going. I'll try and show you guys my clinical classmates and just kind of show you guys what the day consists of for the most part without showing you the actual patients. So I'm gonna head in and I will see you guys inside. Hello. <laughs> we are currently running to Starbucks, even though I already have coffee. Cute little Starbucks. So just checking in with you guys. I just finished passing my morning medication and I'm pretty much done with my patients. I'm just finishing some patient documentation and I'm gonna take a quick like 15 minute break so I can have a snack. But yeah, I so far so good today. It hasn't been too crazy. Uh, it's not as busy. I don't think I ever mentioned this, but I'm in a medical search unit. Currently the patient that I have assigned I obviously can't say much about him, but he is a Hispanic male and I don't know if you guys feel the same way for my nurses out there, but obviously you care for all your patients the same way and you love and care for everybody equally. However, there's nothing like having someone that reminds you to your grandpa or your father or 
someone that speaks your language so he only speaks spanish i feel at home i feel like i'm speaking to my grandpa i feel like i'm speaking to my uncle to my dad it's just such a nice feeling i can tell that he felt very comfortable as soon as i introduced myself to him and i told him that i was going to be his nurse for the day he was very excited we started talking about mexico and our foods and just everything so i'm really excited today i am having such a good day i am a little tired because my dogs i feel like they know i have to wake up at five in the morning so they act up all night so i'm a little tired but i'm having a really really good day but yeah i'll check on you guys when i go on my 15 minute break i'm gonna go and finish my patient documentation and I will see you guys later. Okay, so this is what I'm having for my snack. Crackers with pepperoni and cheese. It has 11 grams of protein. And I'm also still drinking my coffee. So I'm currently in the break room upstairs in the med search unit floor uh, but we do have a big cafeteria where they sell food and everything and then that's where we usually me and the girls go downstairs and have our break there but for like the quick break I just like to come here and have a quick bite and then head back to the floor like I mentioned earlier I'm having such a good day I literally love caring for people and just like I said earlier, caring for someone that reminds you to like a family member, not necessarily because of how they look, but just feeling like I can speak my language and it's just, I don't know, I, I truly feel like I'm taking care of my grandpa. It's still very uh, dark outside kinda. I feel like it's been not the sunniest day, but yesterday we had a beautiful day and we actually got to take, me and my husband got to take the dogs out to the dog park. So a little bit of rain, just means that spring is coming which i'm so excited about but yeah i'm almost done with my patient documentation i still have a few things to do i have to do like nursing interventions but almost done so this is the break room that we have upstairs in the med search unit like i mentioned for our actual lunch we go downstairs but for now i'm just gonna be right here finishing my snacks I'm probably gonna go back now. I'm actually so lucky that nobody walked in because I am extremely, extremely shy to like film myself or record myself in front of people. Obviously, if it's like my friends and I know them, who cares? But like, I would never. Okay, so I'm done with my snacks. So I'm gonna go back to the floor and see what's going on over there. I need to finish this coffee because I am still so tired. I also bring my water, which I try to drink at least like three to four of the water bottle thing. I, but honestly, sometimes you're so busy that you forget to drink water. And I think that's one of the number one problems nurses face on a daily, like not drinking enough water, not using the bathroom enough, and not eating. So I'm trying to start good habits. So I'm drinking my water, eating my snacks, drinking my coffee. All right, guys, I'll see you guys during our break time. Yeah. So I'm kind of put in my life because I don't eat enough. <laughs> so I'm having vodka pasta. <laughs> <laughs> my lunch. What are you eating? Sandwich. That looks good. Italian. And then we got the bucket of salad. <laughs> <laughs> that looks so good though. Yeah. So good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, so it's currently 2.37. We gave our second round of medications. Our patients are doing well. And now it's just kind of a slow time and when it's like this when it's kind of slow we usually take advantage and we do a lot of our patient documentation and we uh, kind of talk to each other about what's going on with each other's patients um, even though we're not really supposed to share information with other people but since we are students we kind of discuss things with our professor we usually go down to like a little office place with our professor to talk about our day and ask her questions and then she kind of asks us questions about our patients. We kind of all go around and talk about 
like our specific patient. We talk about nursing interventions. We talk about how to prevent complications. We just kind of talk all around and how our day was. And it's kind of nice because sometimes you get to hear other things that you didn't maybe get to see in with your patients. So uh, we should be doing that or going down there in like, I don't know, probably like in an hour or so. But yeah, I will be seeing you guys probably in the car my face is so oily but it's been a long day a really long day so i'm sorry all right guys so i'm finally out of clinicals i am so excited to go home and shower and eat and see my dogs but i did want to talk to you guys a little bit about clinical today i had such a good experience i learned so much I am so lucky to have the professor that I have because she is so knowledgeable and she just shares so much information with us that it, it just makes me so excited to to learn and it makes me so excited to to be a nurse. So yeah, I am done. So we had, it's currently 6.30, did get here at 6.45. So it's been 12 hours. I am excited to go home and I love that it's raining still. I love rain by the way. So I'm gonna go home, shower, eat, probably watch a Disney movie because I love Disney movies and just hang out. I am not gonna do any homework today. I'll probably just read a little bit for, I do have an exam next Tuesday, so I'll probably start reading for my exam, but that's pretty much it. Oh, and I do have to write a reflection, which I'm probably going to get that done today, uh, but yeah, I have school tomorrow. I have school at 8 a.m., so I'm just going to kind of relax today and enjoy the rest of the night. Probably have a glass of wine, so I hope you really enjoy this video, and I will see you guys in the next one.